I'm Alyssa and today I wanted to show off the movies I picked up from Dollar Tree over the past month, month and a half. I'm a little bit late on this and I'm sorry, but I actually got some really quality titles this time and I was super excited because every time I watch people's videos on YouTube of them going to their local Dollar Trees and getting these really awesome movies and then mine doesn't have it because small town, I've mentioned that so many times in these videos and I'm sorry, but we don't really get a lot here so... To my surprise, I walked into Dollar Tree and they had the, you know, the front section, if you're familiar with Dollar Tree, the Weekly Wow section, full of movies. And they had just put them out, so I got to rifle through them all and pick the ones I wanted, so I'm super happy. <laughs> but enough with the chit chat, let's get down to what I picked up. I found a few Blu-rays, not too many, it's mostly DVDs, but the first one is The Man From Uncle. I have wanted to watch this movie for so long and just never have. I don't even know if it's streaming anywhere. I've never seen it streaming on any of the platforms. It might be. I don't know. But I've got it on Blu-ray for one dollar. I love Alicia Vikander. Also, Henry Cavill is in this, as is Army Hammer. And I mean, it's Guy Ritchie, so you know it's action-packed. I've never watched the original TV show this is based off of. And I know this got kind of middling reviews, but you know, I love a good action film. I like the cast, so I definitely want to watch it at some point. The next one I picked up, I don't really know much about this movie, but I've heard really good things about it. And that is A Company Man. I just, I love this kind of movie. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna look on the back. Okay, I see his job is murder, so yeah. I like this kind of movie. <laughs> That's all I know. If you've watched this, let me know what you thought about it. But, I mean, just, you know, that little sentence just sealed the deal. So, a company man. And the last Blu-ray I got from Dollar Tree, but there are DVDs coming up, so don't click off the video yet, is Drinking Buddies. I did watch this when it first came out, but it's been so long since I watched it that I don't really remember much of it. I remember liking it when I first watched it, but I don't know anything about the story. It's completely been erased from my memory. But I do love this cast, Olivia Wilde, Anna Kendrick, um, Jake Johnson, and Ron Livingston. And yeah, I'm excited to check it out again, see if I still like it. But for a dollar, I mean, you can't beat it. Okay, DVD time. This first one is Divisive, and that is Murder Party. This is one of Jeremy Saulnier's first films, if not the first film. And I know it's streaming on Netflix, but for a dollar I can say no. I do really love Green Room, and I liked Blue Ruin. Wasn't a big fan of his latest film on Netflix. I can't remember the name of it. It had Alexander Skarsgård and Raleigh Keough. And I've heard mixed things about this one, but I did want to give it a shot because it's relatively short. And this is Napoleon Dynamite meets Chainsaw Massacre. I do love Napoleon Dynamite. I'm going to give this a shot. I might hate it, or I might love it. I'll find out. It's a nice surprise. Okay, this next one I was super excited to find. It's I Saw the Devil, the unrated version. And I know it's just on DVD, but it's okay. I've been wanting to watch this movie for so freaking long, and I just haven't because mainly it's a really long movie. I think it's like two and a half hours. But I've heard it's phenomenal, and I love this style of movie. It's a horror, mystery, thriller movie, I think. And yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to check this out and to find it for a dollar. The next movie is one I never really heard about before, but it's a Steven Soderbergh film and I generally like his films. And it's Bubble. I will admit, this is butt ugly, this cover. It's just a square rectangle with doll heads. So I'm assuming this has something to do with a doll factory maybe or dolls. I know that there aren't any professional actors in this, and this is one of Steven Soderbergh's lesser known films. Like, no one talks about it. So I really have no idea what this is about. I could read the back, but I don't want to on camera. But I've heard it's actually really good. So, it's, I mean, it's Soderbergh, and I haven't seen it, so I have to watch it. Another movie I've already seen before, but I loved it, was The Neon Demon. Now, if I can find a Blu-ray copy of this for cheap, I will replace this copy. But I just, I love this film when it came out. It's so stylish. It just makes you be like WTF all the freaking time. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. And it's directed by Nicholas Vendingreffen, which I really love his movies. 
And if you haven't seen this, definitely give it a chance. It is kind of body horror-ish, um, but it, yeah, it's just, it's drenched in neon, per the name, the Neon Demon. It deals with the price of fame. Excellent performances from Elle Fanning, Keanu, Christina Hendricks, Bella Heathcote. I'm trying to think of everyone in this cast. Those immediately come to mind. I think Jenna Malone's also in this. Yes, I was correct. I'm smart. <laughs> but it's it's worth checking out. Especially if you like Nicholas Vending Refn's other films. Another one I picked up purely because I saw it recommended in a British film magazine is Severance. I've heard this is kind of like The Office, but with horror thrown in. Yeah, it says The Office meets The Hills Have Eyes on the cover. So yeah, I'm excited to check it out. I don't know if I'll like it. It's a horror comedy. Maybe. Maybe. But, I mean, if it's recommended to me, I'm gonna watch it. That's just kind of one of my habits. I also picked up Paradox because this is from the director of the Eat Mon trilogy. And I know there's four Eat Mon movies now, but yeah, I love Eat Mon. And I mean, it's from the same director, so I wanted to see it. And it looks like it's about werewolves. Again, I don't really know much about this. Oh, is this part of a series? This is the most brutal chapter in the SPL series. SPL series? What the heck? If you've seen this, let me know if this is part of a series, and if so, what entry number is this? Because I don't want to watch it out of order. So let me know if you've seen it, and if it's part of a series. The last one I picked up because it just sounded interesting and it had decent reviews is Madtown. This has Milo Ventimiglia, aka Jack Pearson from This Is Us in it. Let's see who else is in this. I don't know anyone else in this. I mean, it's about this guy, you know, dealing with demons from his past, it says on the back. His parents were murdered. I'm intrigued. So those are all the movies I scored at my local Dollar Tree. If you've picked up any bargain movies or just movies in general, let me know what you picked up in the comments down below. And if you've watched anything I mentioned, let me know what you thought about that title or titles. If you like this video, like it. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and also tap the notification bell so you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on social media, all those links are in the description box down below the video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!